and this is the washer so it goes up to almost my hip bone but this is what it looks like um, it's actually pretty small like I said like it's pretty reasonable really easy to maneuver around like I said it has wheels so I'm able to move it around if I have to the deepness actually ends like right here so it's not really the whole entire thing but that's how deep it goes in and then the width the width is like here and then like this so it's not the biggest thing but honestly we're a family of four planning to do laundry twice a week if i have to or three times a week with cyrus cloth diapers that was another reason why i purchased this as well was because i didn't want to deal with going to the laundromat every three to two days and spending a lot of money so I feel like this was definitely worth it. It was, I think, around two, $236. I pay $150 a month to do laundry because usually it's around like four, starting at four to like $8, depending on the size of the washer. So just really think about how much I'm saving. Like this is uh, basically two months worth when I can have this for God knows how long, but yeah i'm so happy so anyways let me show you all the pieces that it came with it came with this which is the um water hose to attach to the sink the easy attachable thing that you just clip it right onto the sink and then you screw it like this i'm going to show you the other piece and this is the other piece you attach to the sink and it clips on there like an easy clip so that's that and then it came with this part which pumps all the water and things like that so it came with that and then obviously the cord to plug it into the wall this is the black and decker it has a glass see-through it looks like this i'm pretty sure you guys probably watched some videos on this i watched so many and then this is the filter where you have to clean it out a lot as you can tell i have a little bit of stuff on there and then yeah that's what it looks like but they say to check it every time you put a new wash so that's what I do, especially after the cloth diapers. I like to make sure there's nothing left over. But this is what it looks like. Um, yeah, and then the water comes out of here. I'm gonna quickly show you guys what how it works and everything like that. But that's it right there. It's so tiny. So this is my sink. I already took out the piece that goes here. I'll show you guys really quick. This is what it looks like. I just screwed that right on, nice and tightly. Just use a rag. Okay, perfect. So now it's on there. Now, I'm sorry for the yellow lighting. I'm in my bathroom and they are pretty yellow lights. So anyway, so they both look the same. So I don't think it really matters which one you put in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on. I'm screwing this in right because I don't want to mess it up in any way. Okay, you want to make sure that's tightly on there because you don't want it to start leaking. So that's on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and screw this on there. I'm going to do this with one hand. It's just horrible. So I'm going to screw this in. Make sure that's tightly on. Pop this right in and it'll just be so simple watch see and once you hear that click you're good to go now with this part where it drains it you're gonna go ahead and put this over the counter it doesn't really go over the counter I need to get a nylon because it has a um, filter some people say that they still see like lint coming out of this so next time i'm gonna go to dollar tree and get some nylons and just put it over here i just put it right into the drain just like that okay so i'm going to show you this is what it looks like come on focus there we go so you'll see here heavy gentle this is the load size so, um one is for small two is for medium three is for large usually i just do large even if it's a small load just so that it soaks in really well and then this is how many times you want it to wash and well how long you want it to wash which is on 12 minutes i think it can go higher the highest it can go is 15 minutes um 
So maybe we'll just do 15 minutes and then rinse is how many times you want it to rinse. Right now it's at two. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it. I don't know why it's coming up. 44. Oh, okay. There we go. Come on, focus on this. There we go. I think if I do it like this. Okay. So um, this one here was rinse and it's on two rinses. I think I'm going to do that. And then for spin is how long you want it to spin for. So I think I'm going to do eight minutes so it dries faster. Like I said, it's not the best angle here, but it's late and no one's going to be using the bathroom. I also wanted to show you this. You save, um, so this is right here, $3 estimated yearly energy cost. So I think this is awesome because you're not spending too much money on electricity. So, and I hear that you don't even see it in your bill. I like that as well. And all I use is cold water. It recommends to use cold water. So yeah, make sure you read over your manual. You don't want to mess up your machine. I'm gonna go ahead, I already put my detergent in here and my softener. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few things. So this is my son's shirt that he wore today. He got some acai on it, so, cause he had an acai bowl, so that's a shirt. Um, David's PJ pants. His boxers. I'm gonna show you how much I can fit my um, biker shorts. And another pair of boxers. I have eight pairs of socks and then and then I have a t-shirt my sh shorts Aiden shorts and then Aiden's boxers so that's how much I can fit in there I can actually I can actually fit way more but this is how much I'm gonna put you just start it up you press start and then you want to go ahead and go ahead and turn on the cold water and then you'll see it running. And another thing too, like you can quickly put something in here, but if you have it open for too long, it gives you a beep in to close. So you wanna make sure that's closed when it's being washed. When I come back when it's all done, so you guys can see the finished results and I'm gonna just hang up my clothes and things like that. So yeah, I really love this machine. If you guys are looking for something like this for a small apartment or studio, I definitely recommend to look into it. You don't have to get this one in particular. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the link down below for my sisters. Um, she paid a little bit less, which um, I think it's good if you're on a budget as well. So this is the one I decided to get. Go ahead and add some beads. Not too much, because like I said, it's not much clothes. That should be fine. And you can see it's actually draining the water out. See, it's pumping out the water. Okay, so this is everything that I washed. I have this clothing rack I got from Walmart for I believe 15 bucks. I'll leave the link down below just in case you guys are interested so here is Aiden's shirt the one that had the acai on it it is literally clean there's no stains if you guys remember earlier he had like a huge stain over here somewhere but that's clean so I wanted to show you guys that so now I can hang it up and honestly like there's no dripping this is actually the driest because it's more of like workout wear like gym wear so I think the gym wear dries a lot more but give it 30 minutes and I'm 100% sure everything will be dried so yeah this is everything that I washed I definitely could have added a few more things mm -hmm. 